Welcome to the fastest stuff in town. Today on the to see Vamos stuff Sadi Vub. We are going to begin on Sadi Vub Amud Al by the new Mishnah. So Amrulo Mes Ishtacha. If a person is told that your wife died, now this is actually a complicated situation. This is a case, as is explained, where there are multiple women, and each of them have a connection to one another somewhat as half-sisters. So if, for example, you have Dina and Yocheved that were sisters, but they're only sisters because they share a similar mother, Leah, and then Yocheved is a sister to Sarah. Now, that means Dina and Sarah are not sisters at all. Yocheved is a half-sister to Dina, and Yocheved is a half-sister to Sarah because they share the same father, Chetzrein. And for that matter, Sara is a half-sister with Rivka because they have the same mother, Keturah. Rivka has a half-sister, Milka, because they share a father, Betuel. So some of these women, out of these five women, are half-sisters, and some of them are not sisters halakhically at all. As we can now understand, now we can understand the Mishnah. Let's say Levi married Milka. This was the last woman that we mentioned. Now, and then all of a sudden they separate, go to Medina Sayyam, and then found, and then Levi's told, I bad news, Milka died. So in that situation, Levi then decided to marry Rivka. Now, even though technically he should not be allowed to do that, we know that you are allowed to marry um, your wife's sister when your wife dies. So, and that's what he was told happened to Milka. So that's what happened. He married Rivka. And then subsequently, again, he keeps, he's a traveler, and he finds out that Rivka died. So then he married Sarah. Now, again, Rivka and Sarah are half-sisters. Milka, his first wife, is not uh, related at all to Sarah. They are not half-sisters. They're only linked through Rivka. But Sarah and Rivka, Milka themselves are not sisters, and they're not half-sisters. Sarah dies, so he marries Yocheved. Yocheved dies, he marries Dina. And then, as one can imagine, all of a sudden, he's told, and let's say he was told Dina died. And all of a sudden, all five of these women show up, which means that none of them died. Now, the problem is, he was not allowed to be married to some of these women because they were sisters. Now, as we've been learning, this was a situation where, for whatever reason, he was, he was given the impression that it was allowed. And then all of a sudden, now we're in trouble. So with that understanding, the Mishnah says that, again, he was told your wife died. So he was told Milka died. So he married Rivka, who they shared the same same father, as we said, as Besuel. Mesa, and then as we mentioned, we were told that Rivka died. So So he married Sarah, and as they, Rivka and Sarah share the same <coughs> Uh, mother, so they're like half sisters. Mesa, and she was told that Sarah died. Venasa Avia, and he married Yocheved, who is a half sister. Sarah and Yocheved are half sisters from Chetzrin. Mesa, <coughs> she was she was told that Yocheved died. Venasa Ima, and he married Dina, who was linked to Yocheved as a half sister because of their mother Leah. Venimsa and Kayamos, and all of a sudden, again, as we said, everyone's alive. So in this case, <clears throat> he's allowed to remain in the relationship with his first wife. Of course, why not, right? It's his first wife. But not only that, he's also mutter with the third and the fifth. Now, the Chiddush, as Rashi says here, Shein Krovo Zulazu, they're not related. Even though the third one is a half sister to the second one, Sharia, you're still mutter to the third. The Kedushi Shnia Lutasi to Achos Ishahi. That second marriage was nothing because it turned out that when you married Rivka, <coughs> at the end, Milka, your first wife, was alive which is a half-sister to Rivka. So that marriage to Rivka was nothing. So therefore, there is no marriage to Yocheved, number four, or Rivka, number two, which means you're allowed to be married to women one, three, and five. And for that matter, <coughs> it says, Upoitrois Sarasehen. What does that mean? So Rashi says, Im Mace. Finally, instead of the women, now he dies, Uva Yavam, 
um, and a Yavam comes, Levi's brother, and does Yibam with one of these women, Nifter Tsarasa. That will pot there the Tsara, the co wife, because they really were uh, married to him. Okay. However, continuing in the Mishnah, that's only women 1, 3, and 5. Of He's not allowed to be with the second or fourth women because he is married to one, three, and five, so they're half sisters. The aim bias achsman poitera sarasa. And if you uh, be with them, will not end up pottering the tsara. Because again, this is not your uh, wife. The im bal shnia. Let's say again, a person who's not supposed to take Rivka because she's a half sister to your wife Milk and a half sister to your wife Sara. If you had bial shnia, la acher misa sari shaina. But let's say this happened only after Milka died. So now you know one hundred percent your first wife died. So then everything shifts. Mutter b'shnia b'revius. Now all of a sudden you're mutter with to the second wife and the fourth wife. So again, if let's say all this happened and all we have verification that Milka died, so then Rivka, wife number two, is really wife number one. So therefore you could be remarried to wife one and three, Mutter B'Shniya B'Raviyas, who put and therefore again, as we said, <coughs> if the guy dies and Yibum is done, that'll pot to the co-wife. Basu B'Shlishas B'Chamishas, so we also have the third and the fifth. The Ein B'Yas Achsman Poitera Sarasa. And of course we could understand if let's say we know for a fact Milk and Rivka die, and all we have is Sara, wife number three, so, so wife number three is really wife number one, and he'd be allowed to be with three and five, or, or one and three, just wouldn't be allowed to be with Yochev the middle wife. Okay, so it's a little confusing, but again, that is the basic basis of that mission. We actually saw this uh, previously in the Smusechta. Now we have a separate topic. When it comes to a ben teisha shanam yom echad, if you have a boy who is at the age of nine years old, he's reached his ninth birthday, who poisel aldi achin, so he can passel uh, through him his bia, says Rashi, the biaso poisel aldi achin. Did I see it? actually? Okay, he can passel through his bia, the achin poisel al yadai. However. The brother's bia could also passel her to him as well, says Rashi. Even though the first brother, the nine-year-old, had bia, that is not a complete kinyan <coughs> when it comes to Yibum. As we saw this many times, having bia with a nine-year-old, that is considered to be only the status of Mimer. As Rashi says, after Mimer, Bia does have some power. Bia after Bia not, but Bia but Mimer but Bia after Mimer does have enough power to asser her to the nine year old. El who paisel tchila. The truth is there's similarities except he can passel the other brothers tchila with, with his Bia. But Achen poisel tchila the The brothers are able to passel the nine year old if that other older brother had Bia with her, making her the Yav- his Yavam, his wife, or of a Sof, if it was done at the end, namely after that the first time Bia was done was with the nine-year-old, and then the other one. So in that situation, this is just explaining what we just said, <clears throat> if the nine-year-old has Bia with the Yavama, Pasal Aidi Achim. That will even though it's like Mimer, is enough to passel to the other brothers, that the other brothers cannot marry her. However, Bo Oleho Achin, if afterwards the other brothers had be with her, they also bo Mimer, or they did Mimer but Nasnu get or gave a get or Holtsu Poison Al Yadai. So in all these situations, because this B of the nine year old only has the power of Mimer. So we're asked Otu what? Kuhu Lav Lachar Misas Rishainin in who? All of these is not after the first Misa. So I'm Ravshesha's Lachar Misas Rishaina Vadai. We're talking about a situation where we know for a fact that Milka died. If we know for a fact that the first wife died, then it shifts over. And then again, Rivka, wife number two, is really wife number two, number one. And therefore, again, wife two and four are the ones that are um, are mother. Ben Tesha Shanim. So that's the end of that. Now, now we go to the safe of the Mishnah. Ben Tesha Shanim Yom Echad. When it comes to a child, again, who's nine years old, <coughs> the din is, Tchila apostle, 
that the when he has Bia at the beginning, it will apostle her to the other brothers. But Sof will apostle. However, <coughs> says Rashi, Im also but Maimer. If one of his brothers did Maimer did, did Maimer first, Kaidim Bia Spantasia before his other brother, the nine year old had Bia, will apostle of Bia Spantasia about Maimer. It's not going to do anything because as we understand, the Bia is comparable to Mimer. So if let's say the first brother did Mimer, so we have a din, in Mimer, Achar Mimer. So it doesn't mean anything. The second brother is Mimer, even though it was Bia, since it was the nine-year-old, it's only like Mimer. But Tani Reb Zvid, Barav, Oishia, Ha'isa Mimer, Bia Vimtai, in the event that an adult does Mimer, to the Avama, V'yachach Ba'achiv, Shu ben tesh shan biyom echad um oel apostle. So you're telling me that if let's say the first time it was done was mimer, and then all of a sudden B is done, oel apostle. It's on her to uh, be apostle. Look at Rashi. Bia spentasia apostle feel basof. Really, the Bia should actually apostle her at the end. Of a mamara shall bentasia. When it comes to mimer of a nine-year-old, imhu tchila apostle, basayful apostle. This is what is explained here. That the truth is, if he had bia afterwards, it will apostle her. I'm bia of a nine-year-old apostle of field basayf. So maskana. This is question TV twenty and question nine. Mimer obia shall ben tes shanim biyavama im poisla al achim tchila basayf. So the answer is yes. When it comes to bia. If the nine-year-old had been with her right away, that will apostle the other brothers. Also, if, let's say, the other brothers did Mimer first, and then the nine-year-old had been with her, that would also apostle. So Bia, even though it's a nine-year-old, will apostle Tchil B'Saif. Mimer Tchil apostle. B'Saif will apostle. However, if it's Mimer, only if the nine-year-old does Mimer at the beginning, the first act, the first brother. However, if, let's say, the other brother did something... And then the second brother did Mimer, that won't do anything because we know in Mimer, Achim, Mimer, which is interesting. Even though Bia of a nine year old is considered like Mimer, but it's still not Mimer. It's considered Kiel like Mimer, but not in this case, and that it will possible, even Besaif. Ubia, feel Besaif, possible? Is it true that a nine year old's Bia, even after his older brother, uh, that is it true that that will actually possible uh, this woman to? The older brother, but Katani Elishu Paisel Tchila. It says the apostle at the beginning if he does it first. They in Tchil of a Saif. However, for the older brothers, it's Tchil of a Saif. Ketzad, and this is what the Mishnah said. Ben Teish Hashanah Yom Echad Shabal Yibem Tov Achulu. It's very clear from our Mishnah, not like that. It's very clear from our Mishnah when it comes to a nine-year-old. The din is that it's only going to apostle but Tchil but not a Saif. So Chasur Machzav B'Hachitani. Actually, there's words missing. Our Mishnah is supposed to read the Pentei Shesham Yom Echad Hu Poisel Tchila. He will apostle to begin beginning. Behein Poisel Tchila V'Saif. B'Madim or Ramorim. When do we make this distinction? Only B'Maimer. Only when it comes to Maimer. Namely, if the nine-year-old did Maimer at the end, that's when it doesn't do anything. However, if let's say the other brothers did Maimer at the end, that would do something. That's the difference. Of a bia poiselus afil b'saif. However, when it comes to even the nine-year-old, it will possible b'saif. Keitzad ben teishes shon of yom echad haba al yevimto first posa al yediachin. So that will possible the other brothers. Why? Umi isli mimer klal al yediachin. Do we really say that there is a uh, mimer at all? Al yediachin by the other brothers. Posanya. It says like this. Ben teishes shon of yom echad. You have a nine-year-old who poisel b'davar echad. It says that he can passel in one thing, in one manner. However, the older brothers can passel not with one action, but with four. What does that mean? Which is very clear that only uh, if the first, seemingly, this is what it seems like in the Habamina, that the Nine-year-old did mimer first. That will not possible the brothers. Only if he did bia first. Who poisel al the achin bia? The achin poisen al yado bia b'mimer b'yad v'chalitza. So we see it's actually a question. We see it's not true that when it comes to um, the the nine-year-old, he will not possible b'tchila with mimer. Our answers you just have to read it a little bit differently. Bia the possible b'tchila b'nbasov psikale. When it comes to bia. 
the nine-year-old can apostle the other brothers, whether it was done first or after. Mimer, the betchil apostle, the seifel apostle, upsikale. Again, it, it's not true. The reality is that when a nine-year-old does have the ability to apostle through the means of mimer, provided that he did it first. It Nami, we learn this as well. It says, Omer Yehuda Meshmuel, Yesh will get that there's a din of get. What does that mean referring to? It says Rashi, regarding a nine-year-old, um, if the brother, uh, he's nine years old, gives a get, he can passel. It'll still be under the category of yivna, namely that, provided he did it first. Tachlifa, be, uh, bar avimi yeshlo mimer. He holds that also there is a concept of mimer again if the bro- the nine year old does mimer first. Tanya mihach yeshlo get the yeshlo mimer. The Abraham Mayor, the Sabra Mayor yeshlo get. Is it true that he holds that a nine year old by giving a get will do something? The Sanya also be a spentasha kemimer begadol. We say that the bia of a nine year old has the same status of bia of an adult. Rameir oimer also chalitzas bentasha. Beget begadol, uh, could get begadol. Actually, he says that the chalitz of a nine-year-old is like a get given by an adult. The imis of it's true. Listen, kigito. It should say it's considered to be like his own get. If in fact a uh, nine-year-old could actually give a get and it means something, then why does it say that the chalitz of a nine-year-old is like uh, the get of an adult? Let us say the, the get his get. It must be because he holds that. A nine-year-old giving a get doesn't have any validity. So it doesn't have the ability to apostle the brothers. So Rav Huna, the of Yeshua, Isle, Vazuter. The truth is, it does, but it's just a weaker kayach. Rav Gamliel, the Amr get, Acher get, according to Rav Gamliel, who, who holds Ein get, Acher get, which we saw way back, that if you have one brother that gave a get, and then the other one gave a get, that second brother doesn't, it doesn't mean anything, doesn't do anything. That's only if it's one adult brother to another adult brother, that one gave a get and the other one gave a get. In other words, they have the same strength because they're the same, um, they're either minors or both adults. But if you have a gadol who gives it after a katan, then by the a katan gives a get, so it does have the ability to possible. But the point is that even if the gadol gives it afterwards, it does have some power because um, since this situation that it was originally done by a katan, so the gadol's get actually has more power. So even though you hold in get after get, that's only if it's a gadol after a gadol. But if it's a, a gadol after a katan, there is get after get. Okay, fine. Let's continue now with the next mission on Sadi Vav Amud Beis. We're going to hopefully get to the end of the parak here. Continuing with this Ben Tesha Shanim, you have this nine year old, Shaba Al Yavimtoi, which we said his Bia has power, Betchil or Besov. To pass to the other brothers, and if the other brothers don't do anything, it's like mimer. And then shehu ben teisha shan So let's say he has a twin brother who's also exactly nine years old, and he has bia. So we know that if it would be an adult, that uh, adult brother, that would passel her to uh, to this nine year old. But what if it's a nine year old's bia? Um, in that situation, does that do anything? So, where answers, Misha says, Paisal Yadai. Also, in this situation, the other brother will still passel, um, even though he's only a nine year old. It says, Rashi, the Havle, Kim Mimer Acher Mimer. It's like Mimer Acher Mimer, because they're both Mimer. The Bishnehem, Toysinba, that they both have some Tfisa. Kivan, as we said, uh, there is Mimer Acher Mimer. Kivan, the boy get Mishani, because once, if you hold that the second Mimer means something, that the second person has to give a get. Come beisa ale the kivan dulobana shuvul yivne. So then we follow the kid. It's, since I get is being has now been given or has to be given, it falls under the category of of shuv shulobana uh, shuvul yivne. Because once a get uh, is given, it's like being she's being pushed away. So therefore, because the second bia is like mimer in which um, a get will need to be given because there is mimer achar mimer. So therefore, that would. 
uh, Pasel, the first brother. Rav Shimon Oimer lo Poisel. Rav Shimon says, no, it's not going to Pasel. And Rashi says, Kedetani time of the Gemara, Kedetani de Bebiya Sheni Shkaga. We're talking about where the second brother, it was the B, he did have Bia with her, but it was Beshagig. The Ima Meza, Kamashon Biyasa Bia, then the Regasalav. So it has to be a situation where there it was done Beshogeg, as we'll discuss. So in that situation, since it was not even done intentionally, so it will not passel. And therefore she will still be able to go to the first brother. Ben Tisha Shan of Yomechad, again the other's nine year old, Shabal Yavimtoi, and he has Bia with the Yavama, uh, which again we say is like Maimer, Viachakach Ba al Tsarasa. And afterwards he has Bia with a co wife. Now obviously he wasn't supposed to do that. So Paisel Al Yide Atzmo. Actually, the fact that he had Bia also with the Tsara, that's gonna passel, he's gonna cause problems to himself. And therefore he will not be able to go back to this original Yavama and uh, be married to her. Rav Shimon Oimer will poisel. Rav Shimon says that second Bia will not passel Ali de Atzmo, says Rashi. Why? To Rav Shimon, Bia Spentesha lo Kanya, Umisharia. The truth is, Rav Shimon holds that it's not really a Kenyan, this Bia, this nine year old. El Safi Kanya, Safi Gulu Kanya. This is a Safi if it does anything. E Kanya Kanya with Gamri, if it actually works, it works completely. Veloi Kamahanya Bias Achav. And therefore, the second Bia won't mean anything. Uh, because she's already fully married as a full Kenyan. So too, if he had Bia with the Tsara, it doesn't do anything um, in the event that it was a real Kenyan. If the first marriage, the first Bia was a real Kenyan, then the, the second was a Bia's Nus, but she's fully married to him. So, uh, if you say that it's not a Bia, the Bia doesn't have any Kenyan. It's either a full Kenyan or it's not a Kenyan at all. That's a suffix. We don't know. So because of that, if it's not a Kenyan, it's not a Kenyan for the first or the second ones. Therefore, you can remain with the first one. Says Rashi, Abel Shnia, Lomakayim. The second one you cannot remain with. Dilma Biyosu Kanyari Rishayna. Because maybe the first one did work. The Kaima Shnia, Aleha Biyosu Shnei Batim. And if you're not allowed to marry two houses. So if your brother has two wives... You can't marry both of them. You can't do Yibam with both of them. You only do with one. The other one is that Sarin goes is able to marry whoever she wants. So because of that, you could be remain with the first one, but Mamanoshach, uh, you can you're you're allowed to, but the second one not because if in fact the first one was a real Kenyan, then you can't be with the second one because the Isr Shnei Botim. Tanya Omelahem Rav Shimon Chachamim. So Rav Shimon said the Chachamim, Im Biyari Shaina Biya. If the first bi actually, this is what we just saw. If the first bi actually means something, bi ishni enu bia, then it's nothing. The im bia rishene enu bia, if the first one is nothing, so bi ishni enami enu bia, then it's also nothing. Therefore, it's not a problem. For that reason, uh, it will the, se- the second brother's bia will not passel. And also, um, if he himself, the same guy, has bia afterwards with the tsara, that won't do anything either. Um shach. So Masnisan the Luki Ben Azai, the Ben the Sani Ben Azai Omer Nish Maimer Achar Maimer, Bishnei Yavam and Viyavam Achas. He says that there is a concept of Maimer Achar Maimer if it's two Yavamin with two two men Viyavam Achas with one Yavama. In other words, if you have one brother doing Maimer and then the other does Maimer, there is a concept of Maimer Achar Maimer and that that a get will need to be given. They in Maimer Achar Maimer Bishnei Yavamos Viyavam Echad. However, there is not a din of Maimer Achar Maimer if you have two Yavamos, two women, and you have one Yavam. So if one of the, if you have one brother and he did Maimer to one woman, then he did Maimer to the other one, that second Maimer uh, does not have any validity. Question 10. Ben Tesha Shan of Yom Echad, Sheba al Yavimtai. See, the nine year old, he had Bia with his Yavam, of Yaakov Baal Tsarasa. And then he had Bia with the co wife, which he wasn't supposed to do. Poisel Ali de Atzmo. My Sfaris Tanoi de Pligi was suffered in Poisel. Why would we say it's not? So one answer is like Rav Shimon, as he said, Mamanoshach. Bias ben Tisha Shan Tisha, Suffik Kanya Suffik Kanya. Hilchari Shaina Mamanoshach Sharia. That's all he says for question 10. The Mamanoshach, the. The first one is okay. If the first one was a Kenyan, so then she's fully your wife. If the first one is not, the B is nothing, then the second B is nothing either. And therefore, the second B shouldn't pass either. Ben Aze says the reason why 
the fact that he had this one Yavam had beer with a second woman, he according to Ben Azai, he says, Ain Maimer Achar Maimer Bishte Yavamos Vyavam Echad. In the event that you have one Yavam and you have Maimer Achar Maimer, which is the same thing, which is a nine year old having beer is like Maimer, so Maimer Achar Maimer is not, there is no Maimer Achar Maimer. And therefore, the second Maimer is nothing. And therefore, that's the reason why Ben Azai says this death. Okay. So again, Mastis and Dolke Ben Azai, because our Ben Azai is really more in accordance to the Sheet of Rav Shimon. Ben Tesha Shon, next Mishnah, Ben Tesha Shon of Yom Echad, Shabal Yavim to Umes. Now, you have a nine year old, and he had Bia with the Yavama, and then Umes, and then uh, he he dies. So in that case, Chaletzis Lomas Yavemas. The din is that if there's another um, brother, Right, Chayelatz is Lomas Yavemas. This is Rashi. Sheish la Zika Shnei Yavamin b'Maim Shibamaim Rzeh. So, and it says Misha Leha Zika Yavam Echad Vlo Shalah Zika Shnei Yavamin. Fine. So that is the din. Chalitza should be done. Let's say Nasa Isha, the nine-year-old, married a woman. Says Rashi, Sheini Yavimto, not the Yavama, Vloi Achin, and he has other brothers that could have done. The Yibum, Umais, and then the brother dies. Harizu Patura says Rashi, the Afa Gav de Bia Sobia. Even if, let's say, the Bia of the nine year old is a Bia, Kedusha of Ain a Kedushin. It's not a Kedushin. Ben Kinyan Katan Kum. It doesn't do anything. Actually, I'll be based Cyrus until he shows signs of physical maturity. Of will be a Vama, Hoyo Zakukule, Shabi Rabban and Kamaimer. So, in other words, the din is that the bia has some power when it's a nine-year-old when it comes to a yavama because you already have this connection to her um, because she's a shemer shavam. However, just a nine-year-old who just stam marries a woman, so that is nothing because that bia doesn't mean anything. That's not considered to be enough because she, he hasn't shown signs of physical maturity. So if he dies, she does. There's no din yibum. So if a nine-year-old who has uh, relations with his Yavama, U Mishihigdil. And then when he gets older, Nasi Isha Harris, he marries another woman, Umais, and now the, this man dies. So Imo Yada Esarishona, uh, Mishihigdil. Let's say he has not had Bia uh, with his first wife, or this, the woman who's the Yavama, from the time that he's already shown signs of physical maturity. So Arishona, so this Yavama, Chaletzis Lomis Yavamas. Uh, the other brothers will only do chalitza because they're, it's not his full-fledged wife because he didn't have tashmish with her at the time that he was already an adult. Vashnia, however, when it comes to his second wife, oichletzis omis yavemes. In that situation, because that really is his wife because he married her after he was already grown up. Or Shimon Oimer, miyabim le'ezu shiyirtze, he could do yibam to whomever he wishes, the chalitza shnia, and then he will do chalitza with the remaining wife. Echad shehu Ben Teshon and Echad Viom Echad, the Echad Shu Ben Estrim Shulhebi Shte Cyrus. The din is the exact same. It doesn't matter if you're nine years old or if you're 20 year old, if you don't show signs of physical maturity, then the dinim are exactly the same between all of them. So that's Rashi Shtem Shabu Machol Din, Shomalu the whole Kamadul Maisi Cyrus Katanu. Until you show signs of physical maturity, you're still considered a Katan. Omarabba, Ha de Omarabanan Zika Shne Yavamin. When it comes to a Zika of two Yavamin, again, you have two brothers. <clears throat> or two Yavamin, Michatz uh, Chalitza, you do Chalitza, Yavum Ilom Yavma, you don't do Yibam. Lo Teima, don't say Hecha de Ika Tsara, where there's co wife, the Ika Lomigzer Mishum Tsara, that maybe we're going to be Geyser because of the co wife, the Hahacha, in a case of our Mishnah, Lake Tsara, there's no co wife, Michatz Chalitza, Yavum Ilom Yavma. So it doesn't make a difference if there's a co wife or not. Nasi Isha Umes, he married a woman and he. Uh, died, this nine-year-old. So that's nothing. Tanino had the Tanarabanan. Shait of a katan, it says when it comes not only someone who is a shait, also a katan. Shinasu mesu, nishay sehen paturos minachalitza minayibum. So it's a big chenish that at that age, it's nothing. And therefore, because it's it's not enough to have a zika. Again, when it comes to a nine-year-old, it works on some level when it comes to yibum because there's already a connection. Fine. Ben Tesh, there was a marriage from a gadol to a gadol before, when the brother died. Ben Tesh of a Mishahigdil. So again, so what happened? He ended up uh, marrying. He ended up doing Yibom with a nine-year-old. Then when he became a gadol, he married another woman. 
and but he never had bia with the when, at the time when he became a gadol with the first one with the avama. So again, we do according to the Tanakama, he does we do chalitza only with the with the avama because that wasn't a complete marriage. And the second one, of course, you could do potentially could do yibum. Where Shimon says you could do yibum with either. Viyasu uh, bias ben teisha kamaimer begadol. So Gemara says we should make the bia just like a, a gadol doing maimer. Vitidchet sarm yibum, and that should push off the tsara from yibum. So Amar Rav lo asabias ben teisha kemaimer begadol. He says no, we do not consider it the same. The Shmuel Eimer asu that we actually do consider the bia of a nine-year-old just like maimer vasu, and in fact you're right. It does in fact uh, push off the tsara from yibum. The chen Amar Rav Yochanan asu vasu. So viasu. So when we do so tonight, it's actually machokas hachta na di arba achin. The Tana, the, uh, the, the Mishnah of Arba Achen of four brothers, um, Gozer Mishim Tsara, where Gozer in the situation of the case of a Tsara. Let's see if Rashi reminds us of this case. So, in the case of the four brothers, and we had the issue that uh, two of them, two of them uh, died. Uh, in that situation, the question is: we, we, was, was there? Misa Shechicha, and the problem is that maybe it's better to do Chalitza with both than to do Yibam, and then the other one won't even be able to do Chalitza. Okay. Gozer Mishum Tsar Vashmin Megadol, but who I didn't Bekatan. Vahadi Amr Begadol, Mishum the Begadol Koi. Over there was talking about an adult. Vahadi Hana Dahacha Svirule Asu Voloi Gozer. You actually can do this, and there's no Gzeir Mishum Tsar. Yashmin Bekatan, but who I didn't Begadol. Doesn't make any difference. Vahadi Kaimer Begatan, the Begatan Koi. We were talking about a Katan over here, that's why he mentions, but there's no Chiluk. Azarav Elazar Aimel Shemaisa Bemid Rasha, Lo Amr Mishmed Rav Yochanan. It wasn't said in the name of Rav Yochanan. Shem Rav Yochanan. So Rav Yochanan heard this and Ikbid. He got upset because he thought it should have been quoted in his name. So Ul Gabe Rav Ami Rav Asi Zermalei Lo Kach Haya Hamaisa BeBeisach Neses Shel Tveria. This was the story. Be Neger Sheish Beray Shai Glustera regarding regarding this uh, bolt which had this Glustera says Rashi Sheroshu of the top of it was thick Veroy. Literally, until its sefer Torah was ripped up. So he didn't, he didn't really do it intentionally, but because he was upset, it ended up getting ripped. Um, ben Kisma. I wonder if this Beisach Nessus is not considered to be a form of Avodis uh, Kachabim. The fact that the Sefer Torah is ripped. The Chayin Havi Hader Ikbid Tfei got even more upset. Omer Chavru Sanami. So Ul Gabi Rabbi Yaakov Bar Idi Omelay Kashet Siva Hashem as Moshe Abdoi. What does that mean? Kain Siva Moshe as Yeshua. So so too, just like Hashem committed Moshe. So too Yoshua. The Chain Asi Yoshua, and so Yoshua did. Lo Heiser Davar Mikol Asher Siv Hashem. That's Moshe. She didn't do anything different. Bechiel Al Kol Davar Shemer Yoshua. Do you think regarding everything that Yoshua said, Hai Armelahem Kach Armeli Moshe? Does he always have to say So said Moshe? So said Moshe. We all know, of course. El Yoshua Yoshev Darish Stam. Bechol Yoidim Shitarasa Shul Moshe. He. It's not necessary to have to keep quoting. Oh, I heard the name of Moshe Rabbeinu. Everyone knows that that's the case. Afra Belazer Talmidcha. So to Rabbi Lezer, your student. Yoshev Darish Stam. Ba'akol Yoidim Ki Shulchahi. Everyone knows that the Torah is yours. But he doesn't keep quoting you, Rabbi Yochanan, Rabbi Yochanan. So there's no reason to be upset. Arm Lehemim. Ne ma iatem Yoidim Mufayis Keben Idi Chabirenu. How, why does it, why don't you know how to appease just like, um, Ben Edi Chavarenu. Rabbi Yochanan, my time, a copy Kuli The question is, why was he so upset? Do you remember Yehuda Merav? My next said the pasuk says, Agura ba'alcha oylamim that a person dwells constantly in the tent. The chayevshel adam lagur b'shnei oylamim. What does that mean, oylamim? Is it possible a person can literally um, dwell in both worlds? El Omer David of Nekodesh Baruch Hu Banisham. David said, Yehi Ratzayin. It should be the will as we continue to Tzadi Zayin Omed Aleph. Shiamer Davar Shmua Mepi. That people should quote uh, Torah 
um, my words in this world, even after I am no longer here. Whenever a person quotes Torah in the name of that person, even though that person is not alive, it's like that person's mouth is moving and quivering in the grave because they're being constantly quoted. That from the mouth, it's like good wine. So goes my beloved. The moving of the old lips. is like a pile of grapes. Like these grapes. When a person touches these grapes with his finger, the wine bubbles up. Once the words are said, the words are, lips are a little moving the kever. So we're saying that's the same thing. A nine-year-old or someone who's 20 who doesn't show signs of physical maturity. So the Gemara says, what do you mean? So if you have a 20-year-old that doesn't show signs of maturity, all he has to do is to prove that he's 20, but who has and therefore he falls in the category of a sris. Now we know a little bit him. So that person cannot do chalitza or yibum because he's not shy to be able to have children. Says Rashi, Alma kigod l'choshev, v'lo amrin in katan hu, v'yamtin hu lo. So that's going to be a question. We see that he's considered like a gadol, he's just we don't do chalitza or yibum. Bas esrim shana, a woman who's 20, shalom havi yeshte saros, again, yibri rashi hi bas esrim, we prove that she's 20, v'hi ayolanis, so how could you t- say that she has the same? They have the same din as a nine-year-old. What does that mean? So says Rashi. When do we say that this person is like an adult, even though they haven't shown signs of maturity? That they prove that they're by showing different simonim that they're actually a stress. The Muchamilsa, it's clear, the Haidolo Maisi, the reason why it doesn't bring signs of maturity is Mishnah Tisrisu. Of a Kokamadol Chazinan lay, Simon Isris, that if we don't see Simon Isris, Talinan be Katnus, we can we are told that he's a Katan, the Chashinan Dilma Osu, we're afraid that it may come. And this, the Gemara says, this is not forever, until 35, maybe the Gemara says that here. Amarava Dekanav de Tani, who has Sris? He is a Sris. Which clearly means that it's been verified. So Tani, there we go. Which we say is thirty-five. If he is weak, we say get stronger. The ibar if he's strong, uh, maybe he has too much food. Too, he's too heavy. Maybe he needs a diet. Again, it's possible that this is the reason why he's not showing signs of physical maturity. The Haini Simonim, these signs, Zimnin Dinatri, maybe his hair falls out, Machmas Kechishusa, Zimnin Dinatri, Machmas Briusa. It's possible that his hair is falling out because of physical reasons. So if he takes better care of his health, then maybe uh, he will be able to show signs of physical maturity. Questions? That's that I'm going to stop there, obviously. Let's see, question to question 10 we saw. That's it for that. Let's move on to TA. TA 19. Ben Yomechad, Shibal Yevimtoi. So he had been with his Yevama. Mishahigdil, Nasi Isha He, um, Umes. So the question is, what is the din in that situation? So this is actually, uh, it says three shitois. Okay. So this is TA 19. So there are those that say, Why? Mishum 
And that is the language of our Mishnah. Let's just see it over here. Let's get the case. Um, fine. Ben says, "Beitei shashanim yom echad shabal yivim tay." There's shigdil nasa isha cheres umeis. The im lo yades or ishayinim shigdil harishayinah chayuletzes below misyavemes. The shniya oichaletzes o misyavemes. So that's one shita. This was TA nineteen. The other shita is Rav Shimon that says. You can do Yibam to either one, but then you have to do Chalitza to the other. Which is Rav Shimon in our Mishnah. And then we have this third opinion, which is found in the Gemara. That those that say that both of them uh, should do Chalitza and not Yibam. Chalitza should be done uh, to uh, both of them. Okay. T. Let's see if there's another question actually. No. T B. Twenty. Ma nafka mina ladina ben maimer ben tisha ben t ben tes libiyasa le ben biyasai. So as we saw before, when it comes to the bia, it passes al the achin gam besayif. However, maimer it's only passes betchila, but not besayif. Adkan.